The country is in absolute shock as details emerge the two high-profile individuals have died today in different but bizarre incidents. Chief, two men coming your way. Whoa. All I want is my daughter back. I am well aware of the geopolitics of this case. No matter how complex it may seem, basically involves two parties. On the one hand, you have active combatants. Put him on speakerphone. Remember Amsterdam? You owe me one, damn it! Please don't one. kill me! Please, I don't have anything, I'm just a journalist. And on the other, well, collateral damage. The war on corruption is no different. Who is this guy? My name is Sam Rocky. And why the hell is he moving in on my kill? I'm the guy that refused to be collateral damage. I'm going to see that he never sees the light of day, the light of the free world, ever, ever again. Long been accused of taking everything personally. Someone once said that in war, often the person you really need to fear is not the villain, but the hero. Make sure they do not kill that girl. You owe me that much. Okay. I'll kill her myself. Any good soldier will tell you that. Well, the dust and smoke of the battlefield is still in the air. The line between the villain and the hero is a fine one. You know what they say, soldier? I'm listening. If you're still fighting for gods and country, it's not getting hot enough. When the dust finally settles and the smoke wafts away into the emptiness of victory, when the destruction on which it was won is revealed, they're lying. They're not telling the truth. He's innocent. The soldier's consolation is not so much that he won, but that he had the privilege to choose on what side to be, combatant or collateral damage. So, I guess to meet the one who just won't go quietly into the night.